check that. Ah, really? Cool, cool, cool. Sleepaways, uh, Chicho. Any advice for doing less of everything and focusing on what you truly love? I feel I've become a yes man out of fear of scarcity, but in doing so um, much, uh, I also feel I'm not working towards what I want, which is music. Sorry if this is random. Well, it's not random. I'm sort of related to this. Uh, number one, number one rule if you want to obtain more freedom or obtain your freedom start a savings account i'm not saying savings in a bank account or some something like this i'm saying have some type of savings or investments right the other one is reduce your expenses reducing expenses and creating sort of a saving sort of a nest egg will get will buy you freedom really get your freedom by reducing your expenses and increasing your nest egg and that gets you freedom and by the way gang if you haven't figured it out by now you will never become unless you're one in a million shot you will never become financially independent okay if you're only relying on a paycheck for you uh to prepare yourself for retirement and to be able to afford you know some of the essentials in life such as such as housing transportation uh, health care safety and all this jazz you need to actively be investing in something and that means you have to be actively aware of whatever market you're interested in investing your time and resources in for me it's comic books okay and other things of course right see what she showed that's the kicker I've just reached that level where I've increased my savings and I have a little cushion but I feel like I am still operating in my old ways where I still feel like I have to be doing doing the most and it, it, sleepy waves and that takes mental power right a lot of people have a hard time letting go of a routine right that's why I, I tell people that the the one thing uh, I've told friends this and take this with a grain of salt as far as I'm concerned we need to have three months of three months off a year to be able to ground and reanalyze our lives and make the right decisions so take extended time off from work if you have a nest egg if you can afford that right if not build up your nest egg don't eat into your nest egg by just not doing anything right but it's okay to take a leave of absence and make sure you're reducing your expenses to read books to create content and kick it in slowly in that way right uh it, it's a juggling game it, it really is a juggling game i've had friends where they've been laid off where they've uh taken some time off and they get fidgety they don't know what to do with their time right ronnie another hall chicho is making all that crypto gain no no i don't invest in crypto okay street name liman i collect old stuff i have a collection of books over 100 years old and glow from the 20s nice a bunch of coins but no comic books even uh, though um they would fit in that same category yeah and you don't have to collect everything you can collect what you know and what you love right and by the way you should actively if you're getting a collection if there are certain gains to be made if you want to buy something and you can't afford it for your collection it's okay to let go of some of your collection to generate money if you're letting them go at a profit sometimes you let them go anyway right to generate more money to make more investments it's okay to do that okay birdie here take control of your own life if you want to do something go do it give yourself permission no one else will it birdie here 100 i agree with birdie here right just do don't write off everything else don't burn your bridges right we all have to we all have expenses we all have to live we all have to we all have I have to take care of business right but it's okay just to do and fail have losses it's okay to do that really don't worry about 
taking a hit, taking a loss, consider it education, right? Like, for, look, gang, one of the first things that you learn when it comes to gambling is if there's nothing on the line for you to lose, you are not gambling. You don't know what gambling is. That really uh, uh, applies to poker, right? There are a lot of people that like playing poker, but there's no money on the line. It doesn't have to be a ton of money. It could be pennies, right? There's nothing on the line. Well, if there's nothing on the line and you're playing poker for fun, you're not really playing poker. You're passing time. Poker really kicks up in intensity when there's something on the line to lose. Life is the same way. Investments are the same way.